It is the 4th of July, and the responsible American thing for me to do, in my opinion, was to go about and rank the best hot dog that Florence has to offer. Now the criteria for this ranking were very simple. Each hot dog is gonna be judged based off of the classic American July the 4th setup, in my mind at least, which is ketchup, mustard, chili, and onions. And with that being said and no further ado, let's hit the road and find out who has the best July the 4th hot dog in Florence. And so with the first hot dog on our list, we are at a familiar place. We came to Old Del May on Cashua. These are the classic red hot dogs turn the water pink. Okay, so the hot dog, y'all know the red turn the water pink hot dogs, man. What this reminds me of, my grandmother some days used to make hot dogs for me. It was an easy meal for her to make whenever I was staying with her. I used to love the Texas Pete chili that came in the can. And I remember being in the grocery store. I remember when those cans of chili were like 49 cents. That's a lot what this reminds me of. It's reminiscent of that. So from a nostalgia standpoint, I like this, uh, but that's really what it is, a nostalgia factor. So right now, Del Mays hot dog is gonna be number one on the list. It's the first one we've got. But if whenever you were a kid, somebody used to make you the turn the water red hot dogs with the 50 cent can of chili, that is what this hot dog reminds me of. Not bad. All right, next on our list was my choice out of these selections. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, I already have low expectations from where I came into this at. We went to Five guys. This one's gonna be a little bit different because they didn't have a chili option. And so off the rip, I gotta deduct for that based on today's criteria of the classic American hot dog, mustard, ketchup, chili, and onions. But the real issue with this was everybody was in a really bad mood in there. And I'm gonna be honest, you know, vibe, atmosphere, mood, whatever you wanna call it for me. And y'all let me know in the comments if you feel the same way, but that affects my experience with the food. Like, you want happy people making your food. Happy people make happy food. And I understand it's summertime and maybe everybody doesn't like their particular job. I worked in the restaurant industry for 10 years. Like, I get it, but I'm just saying. It just is what it is. Service with a smile makes a difference. So, I have a feeling all of those things are going to come into play on this. And what I thought was going to happen may not. But there's only one way to find out. Let's try it. Five Guys, all beef hot dog, much more snap to it than the Del May hot dog had. Okay. I've seen enough here. What I'm about to say is twofold. One, it's criteria based. That is the criteria that was set forth for this ranking. And two is location based. Five Guys is one of the better chain restaurants that exist, in my opinion, especially in our town here in Florence. But today wasn't their best performance. And it does matter because it gets in the subconscious. My mind is thrown off now. My expectations are shattered. My, my joyful hopefulness for this experience has now been tampered with when that happens. So combining all of that, I'm going to put this hot dog behind Del May. Yes, I would rather, if I only had the option of the two, I would rather eat the Del May hot dog for half the price. All day, every day. Now, pound for pound, five guys would still have a better hot dog. Take the location by situation out of it. You can dress it differently. You could put, you could do the cheese dog with cheese and bacon. There's, you know, you could put jalapenos on it. There's different things you could do and get an overall better hot dog because the actual hot dog itself, the quality is better on the five guys hot dog. But for this specific July 4th ranking, yes, I am 100% giving the nod to Del May. So as of right now, Del May is still in first. Five Guys number two, and I'm shocked. I literally would rather pay my money for the hot dog that we ate at Del May than the one that we just had, especially factoring in the cost with this um, being double the price. All right, after much traveling around, I've got three hot dogs here. Sunday House, a.k.a. Dino's, Peterson's, which was a pop-up hot dog cart that I saw on Facebook yesterday, and I've got Cookout, and I plan to have Locals, but I don't have Locals because Locals was closed. And you know what, locals, because of that, you'll miss out on today's ranking. You know, it's like they say, sometimes the best ability is availability. We were sitting at a gas station because I had to find some shaded covering. And so people are probably going to be looking at me like I'm crazy, wondering what I'm doing. And that's okay. All right, so right here we've got Sunday House, a.k.a. 
Dino's hot dog. And mind you, these were all recommended to me. With that being said, Sunday House, a.k.a. Dino's hot dog. Okay, so off the rip, I think we've got an all-beef hot dog. It has less snap to it than the Five Guys, but more snap than the uh, Del Maine. And when we say snap, you're talking about the casing on the hot dog. Does it pop when you bite it, or does it just collapse? That's what we mean when we say snap. A very um, homemade-tasting chili. There's something smoky I'm picking up on, and there's some kind of spice. Something reminiscent of what you have in like a dry rub on pork. Um, man, I can't... I can't pinpoint what it is, but not bad. Not bad at all. Dino's hot dog moves up to second place, and that hot dog was $3.96. I think cost has to factor into this, you know. If you're going to pay $7 for a hot dog then it better be right. Next, we have the Peterson's hot dog. I don't know how much I paid for this because the receipt was emailed. I wanna say that it was $3 though, I believe. This was a hot dog cart, like I said, under a pop-up tent over on Irby Street. Now this, when I saw his Facebook post and you see it on the screen, this was purported to be the best hot dog on the planet. So you definitely gotta be the best in Florence to be the best on the planet. These people about to crash in front of me. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a tough one. The chili is very meaty. The hot dog has a decent snap. It's a lot like the Del May hot dog in that respect. It's got a certain flavor to it, almost like an herb. There's something going on with the, I don't know if it's something he's putting in the water or what the case is. Mm hmm There's a saltiness to it that I like. It's a good thing. And you see I ate the whole thing. So here's where I'm at with this. Um, part of me likes the Del May hot dog better, but I know that it's my own implicit bias going back to childhood, like I talked about. No kidding. I know it is. Because my experience and my awareness tells me that's a better hot dog. The actual hot dog's a little bit bigger. The chili's meatier. It's not that canned chili. That very well may be canned chili at uh, Del May. It might not be. There's something intentional going on with the flavoring of the hot dog. I can't really pick up exactly what it is. There's a good chance if I had the option of both, they're priced about the same. I would go buy the Del May hot dog, especially with it being closer to me in proximity to my house. But I got to be objective here. I really try to be very objective on this channel. That's like my goal. And so knowing what I know, I know there's an implicit nostalgic bias going on. Nostalgia is a very real thing. I have to bypass that. I have to ignore that and give Peterson's the nod. So right now, Peterson. Sir, you are in first place. Good job. Next is cookout. And this one is extremely messy. So here we go. This was the least expensive hot dog I've had so far. $2.90. The chili doesn't really have much flavor. The hot dog's very basic. The least snap of any that we've had. But it does have that liquid smoke flavor that I assume that they're using over there. Um, Not bad. I do like it, but the more I eat it, the more generic it feels, is the word. It feels like generic hot dog. This is the great value Del May dog. Okay, hold on a second. Back to Sunday House. Uh, I think for me, I'm going to give the nod to Sunday House. It's a little bit meatier, got a little bit more bite to it, beefier, a little bit more authentic flavor. The flavor on this initially seems a little bit better than this, but the more you eat it, I think I'd rather eat this one. All right, for our next stop, we are at Greg Brothers Store, which is on the corner of Francis Marion Road and Clawson. And uh, yet again, we're back to the red turn the water pink hot dogs. This one was recommended in the Facebook group, and I did not have a drink on the last one, so I picked me up a cool blue Gatorade because my wife has been telling me that I need to be more intentional about my electrolytes. So hopefully this counts. It's been a long time since I had one of those. All right, now, the total for this and the Gatorade was $5.13. Okay, Greg Brothers Gas Station Dog. Okay. 
very similar to the Del May dog, but I feel like Del May's dog had a little bit more going on in terms of the chili have more flavor. They had a different bun. Now she made a comment while she was making this. She said these buns uh, are not good is basically what she said. And so I'm gonna have to assume that means that um, their bun's not always like this. This is almost like a junior hot dog though. Uh, <laughs> so something's just slightly different. I'm going to put this above Cookout, but behind Sunday House. I can't, in good conscience, put this above Sunday House. It would seem like this is identical to Del May Groceries. I'm sorry, to Old Del May's hot dog. But it's not, though. It's really not. It, it is different. It's the bun. It's the chili. Um, and I don't know what else. Perhaps the cook on it. I'm not really sure. Okay, not really sure. But they're not equal. I do think I'd rather have this than Cookouts. It's probably the nostalgia factor again. Uh, cookout starts off strong and then halfway through, it's kind of like the charade is up and you see what's going on. This is what it is all the way through. So I'm gonna put Greg Brothers above Cookout behind Sunday House. And while we're on the subject, I'm gonna say Midnight Thunder Gatorade, which was out in the 90s, was the best Gatorade flavor ever. But since its departure, Cool Blue is the best Gatorade flavor on the market. Let me know what y'all think. All right, on to our last stop. And finally, last on our list is Dash and Dogs off of Lucas Street and Church Street. I got high expectations for this one, honestly. So off the rip, the actual hot dog itself looks pretty solid. And when your name is Dash and Dogs and the hot dog man is your logo, it's reasonable to have high expectations. Yeah. So the hot dog itself almost has a sausage thing going. It's not a sausage dog, but it's close. And uh, here, let's see, let me take a look at it. And the chili on it is uh, sweet. When I say sweet, I mean literally, it's, it's sugary. It almost tastes like, some people put a, a good bit of sugar in their spaghetti sauce, or they'll make a ketchup-based spaghetti sauce, which, I don't recommend, but that's a whole nother subject. Yeah, that's what that chili reminds me of. If you've ever had anybody that makes ketchup-based spaghetti sauce, that's what that reminds me of. And they didn't get the onions on there. So I got dot points for that. So, hmm. I've had the majority of six hot dogs to this point also, which is not helping them. Man, it's tough to say. I don't like it better than Peterson's. I don't like it better than Del May. I think I would prefer this over Cook. I mean, I'm sorry, over um, Five Guys. This was a $4 hot dog. It's beefier. Let me get one more good bite of it. I think it's better than Five Guys. I think it's better than Cookout. The challenge is, is it above or below Sunday House? For me, it's going to be below. But for some of you, it's going to be above. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, okay. I'm going to put Sunday House or Dino's above Dash and Dogs. This has, this is Sunday House's. This has a um, a smoky, I love smoked foods. So smoked meat, spicy things. That's my genre. That's what I'm into when it comes to savory. That's what I like. And I prefer savory foods over sweet foods. That chili is really sweet. I'm telling you, if you ever had ketchup-based spaghetti that people make, ground beef and spaghetti, Ketchup. People do that. That's what that reminds me of. Some people are into that. That's not really my thing. This has a smoky, more grilled flavor, but I could see where people would like the other one more and would not like this one. So I'm going to say that these are almost a toss-up. It's going to really come down to personal preference. For me, I'd prefer this one. So I am going to put Dash and Dogs just above Cookout, just underneath Dino's. Yeah. That's the right call for me.
it's hot where I'm sitting. I need some airflow. Let me get out of here and we'll wrap this up. So there you have it. Now you know where to find the best hot dog in Florence. This was a very straightforward July the 4th ranking. This was not a gourmet super five-star dining hot dog ranking. This was your run-of-the-mill July the 4th all-American hot dog ranking. And Mr. Peterson, you, sir, quite possibly may have the best hot dog on the planet. That remains to be seen. What we do know is that as of today, Independence Day 2024, you have the best hot dog in the city of Florence. And so with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a share. That helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. In the meantime, I hope y'all have a fantastic July the 4th holiday. Stay safe, enjoy your time off work, and we'll see y'all in the next video.